Hey everyone, Deal here with Pacific Sun Technologies. In this video, I want to talk about the benefits of upgrading your 6, 7, 8, 10 plus year old string inverter to a new hybrid unit that would support batteries. Why might you want to do this? Well, for a number of reasons and thus the purpose of this video. But before we get into the benefits of this type of upgrade, please take a second to subscribe to our channel. And if you find this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family so they can learn more too. Of course, if you are in the market of upgrading your existing solar system so you can have battery backup, or if you want to make the switch to clean renewable energy, then visit us online to request your hassle-free quote. I provided a link for you down in the description below. Here we have the Canadian Solar EP Cube, a 7.6 kilowatt rated hybrid inverter that's DC and AC coupled for whole home backup. This unit has a modular battery design, so you could start off with as little as 9.9 .9 kilowatt hours of storage capacity or scale it all the way up to 19.8 kilowatt hours. Being such a tight and compact form factor, you can have 20 kilowatt hours in less than 24 inches of wall space taken up. This unit being 7.6 kilowatt also has a 22 kilovolt amp surge capacity. So if you wanna back up your whole home and the air conditioner, this baby can do it. Learn more about this product online by using the link in the description below. Solar technology has definitely evolved over the last 15 years. And we're reaching a point that many homeowners need their outdated string inverters replaced. Depending on what inverter manufacturer you have, your string inverter may be running great or it might have been replaced under warranty one or more times already. We've definitely replaced our fair share of string inverters over the years, mainly ABB and PVI due to manufacturer defects. Luckily, well, I wouldn't say luckily, but these weren't systems that we've installed. They were actually systems we were serving due to companies that had installed them going out of business. But up until recently, we've only been able to offer our customers a like-for-like -like replacement. What I mean is say, if you had an ABB 6,000 watt inverter, we would have replaced it with an SMA America 6,000 watt inverter. This is great, but neither is capable of having batteries connected to them directly. Thankfully, with the release of the EP Cube hybrid system, we're now able to offer our customers in need of an inverter service, a solution that not only fixes their solar production problems, but also has battery integration for self-consumption and backup. This will give you a much needed upgrade in most cases without affecting your net metering 1.0 or 2.0 status. Plus, I know many of these older string inverters have little to no form of monitoring, which you'll be thrilled to know that the EP Cube will have that capability fully integrated. So you'll see your solar production, your battery usage, as well as what's going on in your house for all of the loads. Of course, you can see what you sell to the grid now. Another great benefit to the EP Cube hybrid system is being able to consolidate systems that have multiple inverters which were very common 10 years ago because many inverters didn't have multiple MPPTs. The EP Cube is able to do this because it has four MPPTs as well as it being an integrated battery system so that excess DC energy from the solar isn't clipped or wasted. It actually goes straight to the batteries to recharge them. So you get DC to DC charging. For most homeowners, this will improve their actual energy savings if you've started to see true up bills from their utility providers. So some great benefits here that will help in the savings of this type of investment, or I could say upgrade. The EP Cube is designed in a way that allows homeowners with older technology to upgrade their systems without breaking the bank. They were able to achieve this by using a modular battery design. So you can start off with their entry 10 kilowatt hour storage capacity and slowly grow the system to 20 kilowatt hours over time, or just go all out and get the maximum capacity per inverter, which is 20 kilowatt hours. Each EPQ battery 
module offers roughly 3.3 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. So the possibilities are truly endless. And let's not forget that the EPCube Smart Gateway, which manages these connections between that hybrid inverter, emergency loads, and that grid connection, can actually support up to six fully stacked units for up to 120 kilowatt hours of storage capacity and roughly 45 kilowatts of backup power. Of course, this isn't limited to only people with existing solar systems that have old string inverters. If you're looking to go solar and have battery backup, the EP Cube can be very cost effective compared to an AC coupled solution like Enphase. Here, let me show you some pricing. Starting off with the EP Cube as an upgrade to your existing string inverter. Keep in mind, pricing provided in my videos are estimates and subject to change without notice. There are a lot of variables that can increase the prices from finance charges to your location where you live to the complication of your installation to excess permitting costs associated with your jurisdiction. So the pricing I'm providing is just a gauge to help you see the value in what I'm showing you. So the best thing you can do if you're interested in the EP Cube is to request a quote from us by using the link down in the description below. And this doesn't mean for those of you that live in our direct area that we service, but for those of you that live out of our area because we have a great relationship with Canadian Solar and we can share your information with them to help find you a certified partner like Pacific Sun Technologies to install and offer you the EPQ. With that out of the way, let's talk numbers. Starting off with the EPQ with just under 10 kilowatt hours of storage capacity you can expect to spend around $21,100 before the 30% federal tax credit, which would bring your net cost for a new hybrid inverter and 10 kilowatt hours of storage to just under $14,800. Not too shabby if you ask me. You may also qualify for the California Self-Generation Incentive Rebate, which would pay you between $1,500 to $8,000, depending on what program you qualified for. This is further reducing that overall net cost even more so. Remember, this rebate would actually increase with the more batteries you add. So why don't we check out the larger configuration being a fully stacked EP cube with just under 20 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. This would set you back around $29,900 before the 30% federal investment tax credit, giving us a net system cost of just under $21,000 after. The California state rebate would be between $3,000 and $16,000 depending on what you qualified for. This should be very attractive to those of you with an old, outdated string inverter that is either out of warranty or on the brinks of failure because you could potentially get literally a brand new hybrid inverter with batteries and whole home backup for around $5,000 if you qualified, of course, for the full 30% tax credit and the maximum rebates available by the state. Regardless, there are some great incentives to at least check this out. Now, let's not forget about those of you that haven't made the switch to clean renewable energy because the EP Cube can actually accommodate you as well and will come out with much more economical numbers than say a system with like Enphase that uses AC coupled batteries. Here's an example of an eight kilowatt solar system to compare. Both are going to be using the Canadian Solar High Performance All Black Modules, which are 400 watts each. As you can see, the EP Cube, being a hybrid inverter, is much more cost effective over the Enphase IQ8 microinverters and Enphase IQ10 batteries. Not to mention the fact that the EP Cube takes up a third of the wall space compared to Enphase with their IQ combiner box for the solar and the IQ10 batteries each taking up around five feet of wall space from left to right. Trust me, I love Enphase, but with the need to include batteries with your solar system to get an almost net zero bill here in California, we have to look at other solutions like the hybrid EP cube system. Remember, pricing provided in this video is an estimate, and it's best that you request your quote from us directly so we can provide you with a accurate proposal based on your home and your specific needs and wants.
Now, before I let you go, let's just recap real quick on the benefits of the EP Cube hybrid system. It can be DC coupled to existing systems. This makes it great for homeowners with older inverters because you can get DC to DC charging for the battery. You can consolidate systems with two or more inverters to a single EP Cube unit which can improve system performance. For those of you without any form of monitoring, you'll finally have solar production monitoring, along with battery monitoring and home consumption monitoring. You're eligible to claim the 30% federal investment tax credit for the inverter and battery since it's new equipment. If you live in California, you may also qualify for the self-generation incentive rebate, which further reduces your total cost. You'll receive a new 10-year manufacturer warranty on the inverter and batteries. Obviously, if you're looking to get a new solar system with battery backup because you haven't made the switch to clean renewable energy for some reason, then the EP Cube is a great option. It's a competitively priced premium product that competes with the likes of Tesla, Enphase, and SolarEdge. So if you or someone you know is looking to upgrade their existing solar system or looking to get their first solar system, then visit us online by using the link down in the description below. We would love to have you as a customer. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it. I'll see you in the next one.